Hello ladies and gentlemen, and guess what? We're back on the TBO3. And in this video, we will be doing Aphex Twin, Sci-Fi Staircase from the album Orphans, which sounds a little bit like this for pattern one. And a little bit like this for pattern two. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say that it's entirely up to you but if you want to like subscribe and hit the notification button any future videos that i upload you'll be the first to know so with afix twin he doesn't really follow the generic rules of music whether sometimes he uses a different time signature or he has a tempo on one uh, on like the beat and a different tempo on the bass line and he doesn't always follow the 16 steps uh, of a time sequence so this one has been a little bit of a mission to work out so if it doesn't quite sound right to you or you think there's a better way of doing it please comment below and let me know okay so for the benefit of new viewers I just want to show you if we press function and adjust the value knob until it says mode I always program the bass lines in step mode there isn't an original mode but this is the preferred method for the baseline that we're going to program. So if we just come back out of function and put it into right mode, we're ready to roll. So if we pop the unit into pitch mode, the first note that we need on number one is a, an up and a C. The second note we need is also up one, which it's already on, and a C. Then on number three, still with the up it's a G and then still with the up it's an A sharp on four on five we go back down to a G but still on the second octave up on six it's just a normal B so we go down and then we go to B and then on seven we go back up an octave to G and then on eight we go still an octave up A sharp and then we go back to step one. The reason we go back to step one is if I hold down the time mode button you can see that with the value knob I can adjust the length of the pattern. Maximum I can have is 16 but this pattern is 8 long because it repeats. You can go ahead and program the steps again but it's not much point doing that. So we're not quite finished. We need to put in the slides and the accents. So on number one, we have an accent. On number two is a slide. It's already there. Number three, we don't have anything. Number four, we have an accent. Number five is a slide, which is already there. Number six, no accent, no slide. Number seven is a slide. And number eight, no accent, no slide. So it should sound a lot like this. What I've also got on here is if during right mode, we hold down the tempo button, we can adjust the swing or the shuffle. So with it on, let's go to 20. It sounds a bit like this. But it sounds a bit closer to the original. Hold down tempo when we've got the shuffle or the swing on minus 11. So that's that done. And then I'm just going to pop it into play mode. And obviously we can adjust the tempo. I think it's a bit slower than 117 but again with it being Aphex Twin it's very difficult to work out the exact tempo and then I've got the cut off at about 11 o'clock the resonance at 9 o'clock the envelope modulation at 3 o'clock the decay is about 2 o'clock and the accent is also about 2 o'clock and there's just a little bit of overdrive So that's the first pattern done. Now the next pattern is comes in a little bit later in the track and it's this 
bouncier 303 pattern. <laughs> So if we pop the unit into write mode, obviously don't forget to change the pan because you don't want to overwrite the one we've just done. And this pan is only 12 steps long. So again, if you press and hold the time mode button and then just adjust the volume button until you get to the 12 steps. So with the unit in pitch mode, the first step we need is an up, which it's already on, and it's an F. Now the second note or step is a rest, uh, sorry, a tie. So hold down the tie mode button and press tie, which is this one here. And then number three, and now it's a rest. So time mode and then press accent, which is in fact with the time mode button held, a rest. Number four is an up, which is already on, and it's a G. Number five is just a normal G. And number six, is an octave down and a low G. Number seven is, if we go back up twice, so it's an up an octave and it's F. Number eight is another tie to tie that note to number seven. Number nine is a rest, so time mode button, press rest. Number 10 is an up G. Number 11 is down and a G and number 12 is all the way down and a G and that's that done. So now we need to add the accents and slides. So there is an accent on number one, there is an accent on number four, there's a slide only on number five which is already there, obviously nothing on number six, number seven is an accent Number eight, obviously, is just a rest. Number nine, nothing there, because that's a rest also. Number 10 is an accent. Number 11 is a slide, which is already there. And nothing on number 12, which should give us. Obviously, it doesn't sound perfect, but obviously, again, if you've got any suggestions, please comment below. So again, with this pattern, you can adjust the knobs until it sounds right to you. But if we add a, a beat into this, and then let's try and add a bit of synthesizer. that you can see how quickly and fun it is to add a bass line into one of your performances again just a quick note with the shuffle on the tbo3 it is global so whether you're in write mode or play mode that shuffle will um, migrate over every pattern so for this second pattern it does sound a bit more bouncy and natural let's say 25 let's have a little listen and we've got that kind of bounce to it. So let's try and add a, if I start the drum track up again. And I'll try and flip it back to the other one. See it has still, just stop that. It has still retained that swing of 25. But again, you can get creative with it and it's a lot of fun.